Good evening and welcome back. And we're into our first game in the Champions League in this campaign in our third season. Playing away against Midland. The other teams in our group are Anderlecht and AC Milan. And we actually beat Milan on our way to the Europa League trophy last season. Starting today, we've got a, a normal back four apart from Omaragic has actually come in for Kosanu. So we've got Omaragic and Lavaro playing in central defence. Mariba's coming in that deeper lying midfield role. We've actually got Lee Kang in coming in alongside Fabio Vieira. And we've got our first choice front three of Martinelli, Diaby and Ruben Castro. And you would certainly feel, at least on paper, that this is the easiest of the opposition in our group. I would say ourselves and AC Milan are favourites to go through from the group stages, just simply because of, I mean, AC Milan are a great team. We obviously won the Europa League last season, but Anderlecht is, is not a team you want to um, sort of take easily. And any game, I suppose, in the Champions League, they've got there for a reason, so really want to start with three points against Midland, but whether it's going to be a tough game or not, I'm not really sure. But just great to get into our first campaign in the Champions League. And uh, if you haven't already seen, we've we've already had two trophies this season. Um, we were in the UEFA Super Cup because of our triumph in the Europa League, which we won. And that was against Atletico Madrid and then we had the Spanish Super Cup which is a two-leg affair and again that was against Atletico Madrid and we won both of those games and then obviously overall on aggregate we uh, I think it was 10-2 on aggregate it was a ridiculous couple of games oh nice ball out wide to Martinelli now Vieira Lee Kang in Oh, good save. Well, comfortable save in the end, actually. There just wasn't enough power. I did try and place it. But Lee Kang in, or, or Kang in Lee, um, he's really impressed me in the games that he's played. He's come on as a sub a couple of times. I think he started one game. Pre season in, in those Super Cups, he, yeah, really impressed me. Giobi's certainly been the star player so far, I would say. Martinelli, oh, what a save. And it was just too strong into Diaby, the uh, deflection. Let's have a look at this, though. Into Martinelli. First time shot. Really good left hand from the keeper. And Diaby just couldn't control it. But Diaby was certainly the star signing that we made. And you just never know. You, you can make signings and they just they don't quite come off. Or they just don't quite... Players don't quite play up to what their stats actually are. But... Diaby is exceeded expectations, I would say, so far. Excellent player. And now we've got true opposition in that right wing position with Perez, who's a fantastic player and still got a lot of room for improvement in terms of growth. I think that's the one place we were maybe lacking a little bit. Not massively, but is on that right side when Perez wasn't playing we had Bjer who was a, was a great youngster but stats wise pretty poor compared to the rest of the team um, Diaby's on a, on a completely different level here's Lovato the new centre back yeah Midlands are playing pretty deep it's going to be a struggle to break them down obviously we've had the most of the possession so far it's all pretty much been in their half Think as we would have expected, although they are at home, I think maybe they'll put up a little bit more of a, a fight. Backer could be in here. Defender stayed strong, did well actually. Castro, oh, it's a post, and Martinelli chips it in. Going to be honest, I didn't actually mean to chip it. I was just pressing L1 to change player at the same time. And obviously if you hold that and press shoot, it chips it. Lovely shot there, but yeah, just chipped it. Actually a nice finish. And I think because of that, because Castro hit the post and it didn't hit anyone else, he'll get an assist for that. Oh. 
But that was the, the main thing in this game is getting that breakthrough because they're going to be a tough team to break down. But once you've got that, they're going to have to somehow play a little bit more adventurous. And that's just going to open them up. Or you would assume they would try and do that. We've got so much strength in depth now. We've got genuine sort of opposite um sort of competition for every single spot on the field. So that was a bit of a strange one for Martinelli, but he's got a back. Martinelli. Oh, he slips at the last second. I don't know what happened there. He was in a good position. You see that quite a lot in this game. I know Xerxes, he's had some games where every time he shoots, he slips over. And, and it's not raining or anything like that, so I'm not quite sure what the deal is. Bit of a gap here. I thought that was going to be a foul, actually, by myself. But Martinelli's through on the counter. Oh, good save, but it was straight at the keeper. And that's where I thought us getting the breakthrough is really going to pay dividends because they're going to have to push forward and... Um, you know, the first time they've done that and they've got caught uh, napping a little bit at the back. That's a foul. Um, he's actually got pretty decent stats for free kick. Let's have a go at. Oh, deflects. That could have went anywhere. Straight in the keeper's arms. And we've got competition for each spot without the squad being too big. You know, people are... All the players we've got are going to get game time. Fabio Vieira. Lee Kang in. Martinelli. Deflects. Oh, it's wide. Again with the deflections. Decent ball. Trying to use those set piece settings a little bit more. Oh, here's Omrajic. Nice uh, tackle into Yabi. Now Castro. Oh, it was, the pass was just a little bit too slow into him. By the time he got it, he had two defenders on him. It's nearly half time. I don't think there'll be much stoppage time, if any. One minute. a foul, come on. But nice play from Lee Kang in. Now Martinelli. Martinelli. Oh, what a finish from him. Look at that control and finish. Lee Kang in did so well. He showed a lot of strength. A nice ball over the top from Castro. Great first touch. But look at that finish from a tight angle. Lovely lot of three ball. It's that first touch that did it, but still had a lot to do. Wonderful. Now it is half time. We'll jump straight into the second half. And just looking at us, that's surprisingly, this possession was only 52% to ourselves. Um, but it was more the shots on target, which was, I believe it was nine shots with seven being on target. So, and they obviously had nothing. And I've said before, possession doesn't really matter too much. It's the chances you create and take. But I think the majority of the possession we had was in their third. And that's where it counts. Lee Kang in. Oh, that's a bit of a tame shot. You know, if you've got 60, 70 percent possession, but it's just spent passing it between your defenders and your, your goalkeeper and your defensive mid, you know, it doesn't count for anything. And it's good to get that 
safety of a second goal. Because in this game, it doesn't matter who you're playing, even if you're playing a fairly average or weak team, if you've only got a one goal advantage, anything can happen. And it normally does. Now Vieira. Lee Kang in. Again, a bit of a team shot there. He's getting in the thick of the action, though. Been a very good player in this game so far. Yes, Mariba hasn't been on the ball too much, but he is deeper. And to be fair, he hasn't been really been needed. All of the possessions being, like I say, in their third. And Diaby with a poor touch. Diaby's been a bit off the ball today, actually. Um, hasn't played poorly, but. Just hasn't really had much of a chance. Most of the plays being either central or on our left hand side. And we will make some subs very soon. Assuming the ball goes out at some point. Ah, and there we go, we'll make some subs now. And the subs we're going to make is Ruben Castro coming off, TRB going off too, and Lee Kang in because he's looking a bit tired. And in place of those, Xerxes will go up top, Perez on the right, and Cousins in midfield. And I'm going to change him from an attacking midfielder, which Lee Kang in is, to a central midfielder. Yeah, shame about Diaby. He's, he's been brilliant in every game, and like I say, he hasn't played poorly. Just he's, uh... yeah, I think the time he's had the ball on that right, he's been double marked. And most of the rest of the play has been sort of not over that side of the pitch. Lovely ball from Xerxes. Martinelli. Oh, just wide. Very tight angle. And that's all he can do. There wasn't anyone in the box by the time he got there. So, and he scored from that position before. Yeah, look at that. Kang and Lee. 16 touches. The most out of any of the players on the pitch. I think he's been, I don't think you'll get man of the match, but I think he's been, for me, our most impressive player today. The ratings don't always work like that. The ratings are very weird in pairs. Omaragic, he's been good today. Bit of a poor ball for Martinelli there. That's not a free kick, ref, man. That's some hairdo there. Nice clearance there. Can Martinelli get it? Oh, he can. Look at that touch. And pace to burn. Oh, good save. That would have been a stunning goal for Martinelli. It's that first touch there. Lovely. Not going to watch the rest, but... Great uh, counter-attack there. Right, tried set-piece strategy again. Xerxes! Oh. Nearly worked. We could be caught on the counter-attack here. Oh, lovely play from Lovato. He's been solid. He hasn't had a lot to do. That's even more impressive, I think, when you've been pretty much absent in the whole game. And then you've got to step up and, you know, make a tackle or whatever. Oh, Vieira in here. Sixty. Oh, just out of reach. Vieira Xerxes nice ball back into Xerxes and he just a heavy touch should have scored there Xerxes again and again they should have scored but the keeper is to be fair is well without doubt being their best, best player in this game if I get my words out Let's try this again. Xerxes. Oh, acrobatic. 
Good attempt. Just mishit it. Oh, deflected. Oh, I thought you just mishit it. That was a little bit under hit. You could see here I was aiming for. Here's Marie Bear. Marie Bear. That was well struck. Xerxes. It's not Xerxes' day, is it? He's come off the bench and he's had about three or four chances. Um, <laughs> nothing's going for him. Oh, nice play there. Xerxes. Martinelli. Nope, that's a poor pass from Xerxes. Here's Emerson. Now Xerxes. Oh, a, surely that's a foul. But it's full time. And Martinelli with the double. I'm sure he'll get man of the match. And as you can see in the end, possession was pretty much equal. But 19 shots with 12 being on target. Like I said before, it's where the possession is that matters. And man of the match goes to Martinelli. Not a surprise with him getting two goals. Lee Kang in, six. Don't agree with that all. I thought he was fabulous today. He should have got at least a seven. Very solid performance in our first Champions League match. And in the other match in our group, AC Milan also won 2-0. So we're joint top in that little group. And our next match is again against Atletico Madrid in the league. So that's going to be the fourth time we've played them this season already. They're probably going to be the sick of the sight of us because we've already beat them three times. So join me for that one. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.